Oh, fuck, of course. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Sorry about that shit. Andy Han, of course. Hi, guys. Hello, and welcome to the Glitchy and Phoenix. Or F wait, Phoenix and Glitchy talk shit? I don't fucking remember how it goes. I'm too tired. Let's remember this. This is um, part four or five, I don't fucking know, of our favorite things. Part, part four. four. We my had hair discussed. is still. Oh my god. My hair. My hair, my hair is going stupid. Um, what the shit? Okay, do talk, continue. I'm... Okay, um, so we have discussed TV shows, we have discussed movies, and we have discussed books. Um, so I think let's segue into the gaming section. Yes. Um, this is going to take quite a while. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because I personally enjoy... All kinds of games. RPGs are my favorite. It'll probably take a uh, lot longer for you than it will for me, because I don't have that many games that I like. Um, RPGs are kind of my favorite right now. Um, it's something that I've always kind of stuck to since I was younger. My mother got me into gaming, and that's what she played, so it kind of stuck. Mine um, are RPGs and... Mm, mostly RPGs that focus on shooting things. Or magic. Fantasy. Yeah. Um, like, I'm excited for the new Final Fantasy VII remake coming out. I'm excited for Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm excited for that too, actually. Um, and for the new Dragon Age Inquisition DLC that they've been hinting at. What, Jaws of the Call? I thought that was already out. No, there's another one. Oh, shit. Actually, there's another one that they're uh, hinting at. I just said, oh, shit, that made you remember that blooper that we will not air. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> But, as far as indie titles go, I play quite a lot of indie stuff. Um, and I don't. And I recently played a game that hasn't got a whole lot of love, mm. and I'm kind of sad. Mm. Um, it's a game called Sunset, which is a narrative game. It's mostly about, it's mostly story-based, there's no combat or anything, where you play as a housekeeper. Oh, is that the one that got canceled? It, um, it didn't get canceled. Mm -hmm. um, it... The developers have only sold 3,000 copies. Oh, wow, really? Damn. And so they have decided that after this one, they're not making games anymore. Oh, wow. That's... And, and that makes me really fucking sad, because the game is fantastic. It gives you an insight on how regular people get caught in the crossfire when civil war and, you know, conflicts happen between governments and resistances, and then there's this whole s political subplot, and then there's, a, like, a romantic subplot that you can actually have in the game, and it's a very well-crafted game. In fact, I will link you guys to the Steam page for it in the um, bottom of this video, because it's fucking amazing, and I think more people should try it, yeah. and... Go ahead. Because it's, it's great. It's just, it's great. Yeah, from what you were telling me about it as you were doing the review, I it seems like something that I would like. And it seems I, like something I, a lot of people would like if they give it a chance. Yeah, it, it's one of those things that, like, I'll admit, when, I, when my boss handed it to me and said, hey, I want you to review this, I looked at the premise of it and I was like, this is kind of okay. stupid. <laughs> I was like, this is, this is kind of stupid. This is going to be a waste of my time. And then... Instead of trying it out and, you know, blowing right through it like I thought I would for the review, I spent hours and hours. Seven and hours, hours, I believe. Was seven hours. Before you took yeah, a break. Seven hours straight the first day before I took a break. Before and then, you even wrote any kind of reviews. <laughs> yeah, <notes. laughs> before, I wrote, before I wrote any notes, before I wrote anything. And... It's one of the only games that I have given almost a 100% rating to, because it was just fantastic. That, honestly, is like a very convincing review right there that you just gave. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wish... Maybe, maybe we should like do some reviews together, like, right. um, for like TV and... Just whatever, like, crosses our mind. Like, Agreed. talking about, like, latest somethings for others. I don't know. Caitlyn Jenner. 
That's yeah. a whole nother video, though. That's a whole nother video. Yeah, that is a whole nother video. Now, Be looking forward to that. Yes. Now, you said that Sunset was one of your favorite games. Uh, obviously, Dragon Age. Um, Final Fantasy VII, I believe. Yeah, that, that one's just one I'm really looking forward to. Because the Final Fantasy series is one of my favorites. And Seven is getting a remake. I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> a lot um, of people are, actually. It's actually the first Final Fantasy game I ever played. I'm fairly sure that my friend Tyler like messaged me and was freaking out. It also released the year I was born, which is kind of funny. Damn. <laughs> the original version, anyway. So, <gasps> it, it'll be interesting to jump back into a shiny new version. Mm. Um, I but, yeah. I remember seeing Final Fantasy VII, the movie... Oh yeah, Advent Children, which is really great. It actually um Wait, is that the one with Cloud? Cuz I'm yeah. talk I'm talking about the wait. I'm talking about the Final Fantasy where there was like a chick with black hair and they were on an alien planet. Oh, and... oh, that's that's Final Fantasy the Spirits Within. Yeah, that one. That's his whole separate like story base. I, yeah. I remember people being so fucking angry about it and so hateful and I'm like it was a damn good movie, but mind you, I wasn't a Final Fantasy game. I wasn't a gamer by any means, other than well, Pokemon. And, and the reason that people had a problem with it was because it felt like a movie that had the Final Fantasy name tacked onto it mm -hmm. to get people to watch it. Because yeah, I it, had, cause it had nothing related to any of the Final Fantasy games in it at all. No, it really didn't. I don't, I don't really think that it did. It was kind of like a space opera, really, more than anything. We're talking about a space opera, we're talking about fucking Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah, but Mass Effect. But Mass Effect's amazing. a fucking amazing space opera. It's got all the bells yeah. and whistles, and it's got Garrus Vicarian. <laughs> and if you guys like Star Wars, and you want to try out a really great RPG, you could try Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. Yes. Um, which is on Steam, might I add. Is Knights um, Is Knights of the Old Republic the free-to-play one? No, that's. Um, that's the Old Republic, which is the MMO that's, like, set after right. the first okay. two. Okay, there's Star Wars, uh, Star Wars, the Old Republic, which is Swotor. Um, and then there's Knights of the Old Republic, which is completely separate, I forgot about that. Uh, is that all your favorite games? I don't think so, but... I could probably talk all night about my favorite games, so you might want to throw your stuff yes. in and I'll, I'll just right. kind of pipe in every now and then. <laughs> All-time favorite video game of the past is definitely got to be the Pokemon series. I love Pokemon. I love cute shit. I'm a beasty, ugly, hateful, fucking scary bitch half most of the time. But you give me some fucking cute-ass Pokemon and... Twee! She lies. I... She's not hateful. She's oh, you... squishy Why? and nice. Why are you being... Don't lie. I'm hateful, honestly. I can be hateful. I can be a downright fucking scary cunt. Anyways... Like I said, one of my all-time favorite video games in history is Pokemon, definitely. Um, more recently, it's definitely the Mass Effect trilogy and Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, I'm not very far in Inquisition yet because my co-host, the wonderful and amazing Phoenix, bought it for me very recently. Um, I'm liking the Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse game, although I probably shouldn't be saying the Z in Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse, blah, 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 whatever. I don't fucking care. Um... Another series, uh, sorry, I got distracted by something off camera. Um, another series that, video game wise, that I really enjoyed, um, <sighs> fucking Saints Row. God damn it. That is fun, yeah. It is so much um, fun. Saints Row, Borderlands, Borderlands 2, you know, great fucking games. I did. For a long while, I did love WoW, but honestly, the players got drove me away. the The community there drove me away. The the fucking misogyny, yeah. the fucking drama that came with that. No, I couldn't. I couldn't stick around for that shit. And, um, and I will say, as far as Pokemon goes, mm, that I eye was, roll. I was a big fan of Pokemon. For years. Yeah. I started with yellow. Ah, I have yellow. And then oh, I played... It's, it's, I have it here somewhere. It's probably in my desk. 
I played up until Diamond, I think it, it was. Is that in my desk? I think I played uh, up until Diamond, and then I kind of fell out of it because they weren't adding anything really new to the series for a while. Yeah, see, that's the same thing that happened to me. And then I played X, <laughs> and X is fucking amazing. And then I played Omega Ruby. And it's just as fucking amazing as X. So actually, I think the highest I actively got with a non-emulator version in games was gold. Yeah, I loved silver. I never played gold. Um, I had silver. I didn't want gold. I wanted silver, but my fucking brother got silver instead. Ah. Uh... Yeah, that's that was my parents' idea of genius, giving us separate colors. That's actually what my mom, my mom and I did. We would each get a color. Well, that's and what Boneyards and I do, too. And that's what we do with my boys, or well, our boys. But it just honestly caused a fuck ton of con conflict between me and my brother, because me and my brother... I wish I didn't have a brother. Night and day. <laughs> Night and day is an understatement. We are like... We'll fucking kill each other if we get a chance. Space and time. <laughs> yeah. Nerd. Um, yeah. Another, um, another good game series, I would have to say, is... Oh, well, not, it's not really a series, obviously, but Race the Sun. It's made by... That is pretty fun, yeah. Uh, a pretty cool guy named Aaron Philip... Phil 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 I don't remember. Just ch check out Race the Sun on Twitter. Google it. You'll find out what the guy's name is. He's on Twitter. I follow him. I'm fairly sure Phoenix follows him. He's a pretty cool dude. Um, oh, old school, old school games. One of my favorite old school games was the ones you could get from cereal boxes. Or you could get them from McDonald's or some silly shit like that. Yeah. Which one of them was Chex Quest. I thought that was the bee's knees, the bomb, and total awesome sauce, amazing, amazingness. And I thought it was so cool. Um, let's see. Just so you guys know, I will link um, Race the Sun's information at the bottom of this video as well, so you don't have to hunt Sweet. for it. Yeah. Minecraft! Minecraft. Gotta throw it up for Minecraft. Minecraft is amazing. I love Minecraft. Wildstar was really good. But I kind of burned myself out on that, and since it's going free to play, I will be picking it back up. Yeah. Um, Wolfenstein, old school. Oh, such old school. And there was a really old, like, game I used to play, like on three inch, flo like three by fourteen floppy disks. It was called Catacombs, and I cannot find a replacement copy of it at, at all. And like, I cannot find a really, you know, modern version of it or anything. Um. I was actually playing The Witcher today, Witcher 3. Oh! Uh, and how have you been liking it? I've really been enjoying it. Awesome. Um, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> and it's definitely a game where you have to prepare ahead of time for battles and stuff. Mm. Because you can easily get in over your head. Right. So um, getting in over my head. Oh, shit. I died to the stupidest fucking thing on Dragon Age. I yeah. got mauled by a fucking Bear. Oh man, those bears are they don't fuck around. It's the, that's the thing though. The bear there was no bear around me. When I and I thought I had paused the game, honestly. There was no goddamn bear around. I had to go pee. And so I went AFK and I yelled at my boyfriend for a little bit because he was in the bathroom. God damn it, we need to get a house with two bathrooms. <laughs> and I come back and then BAM! I'm dead! My whole party's dead! Also, I think Varric should be romanceable. I don't think that he should be emotionally unavailable. And even though he is emotionally unavailable, if they wanted to go that route and make it difficult to rom him, they should at least give it an option to rom him and grow, or have him grow into falling in love with the fucking character. The, the MC. I'm hoping, and I'm not sure if this will happen. I wish it would. Because I'm hoping that if Varric is a party member again. Now, he's already been a party member in two games, so I don't see this happening again. Um, I if, think Varric's quite fun, even though I'm a tall ass elf and my boobs go over his head. If <laughs> slash when Dragon Age 4 comes out, mm -hmm. I would love to see 
Beric move on from his lady love that's yeah. really unavailable, but extremely unavailable. Um, I, I would love to see him find somebody else. Um, Me. I I would also I would also like to mention mm. that I could talk about lore for a wide variety of game series all day long. Yes. So if you guys ever want a topical video about Dragon Age lore or about Mass Effect, um, Mass Effect or The Witcher or you know whatever, um, we could do that now. It would probably be glitchy, like <laughs> asking me questions and you know, listening to me ramble. But hey, if you want to have us ask certain questions of each other, tweet us. Yeah, we would totally do Q and A's. Also, like, Alec or Phoenix, darling, continue talking. I have to go to the bathroom again. Oh and my it... goodness! <laughs> I'll be right back. Continue I'm gonna talking. name. I'm gonna name this the Phoenix and Peace Lot of Me Show. God damn it! I mean, really. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I have been a gamer for pretty much all of my life. It runs in the family, and it's just something that I really enjoy. It's a nice escape from every day. And it's actually part of my career now, actually. I work, I do reviews and gaming news for mod5.com. I will provide a link to my articles. We're currently going through a bit of a slow period, so... Um, after E3's news came out, so you may not see as much right now that's new, but as soon as we get back up and, and running again, you can keep an eye on that. I am um, back. Finish what you were saying. And so we are, I, I will be posting reviews. Um, I also do, for Mod5, a gaming release schedule for each month. Is it Mod5? I thought it was Modiv. <laughs> <laughs> Mod5, yeah. Oh, um, Lord. And I do a gaming release schedule for each month, um, and it has the platforms that the games are on, and it has a description of, of the games, in, complete with trailers and things like that. So, if you're somebody who wants to know what games are coming out, say in July, for example, you'll be able to look at those at the top of the month. Mm -hmm. um, and I will try to add a link to my articles in the description as well as the other things that I have made myself a note to add to the description. Um, also, please remember that, again, we are just starting out, and we barely know what we're doing when it comes to making a YouTube channel, so don't be too harsh. Yeah, and um, if you don't see bits of information in the description right away when the video is posted, um, it, I may not have gotten around to editing the description yet. And we, because, are, we are in two separate time zones and two yeah. extremely distant states. So And Glitchy posts the videos because my internet is really slow and, and I don't have the capability of actually uploading them myself. Six, wait, I meant wait, not waste, to wait six days to post a video. Whereas right, we, exactly. it only takes a grand total of about 15 minutes, 20 max. So, um, if you see, you know, if I say, you know, like the sunset information, I told you guys that I would put that in the link to the description for this video. Mm -hmm. If you don't see it right away, just give me, you know, a little bit. Also, I'll get to it. the time frames with which we, within which we record these videos are usually around 2 a.m. to 5 or 6 a.m. our times. He's, yeah. a, a, uh, Phoenix is an hour behind me. And so, therefore, he generally goes to bed around 5 or 6 in the morning, his time, which is 7 or 8 my time, depending. Or, well, yeah, no, maybe, whatever. And, therefore, um, if I end up staying up later, I upload some of the videos before he's up again. And, therefore, once he gets up again, then he will edit the descriptions, he will do what he wants to do. And you can check out my Twitter, um, which I think is linked to the YouTube, correct? You can Are find we it talking on my... about our shared Twitter? Do we have a shared Twitter? Bitch, yes! I told you I made a... Oh. I thought you meant that you added our individual Twitters. Okay. I did, um, add, I did add our... Indiv 
this is a discussion for off the video. Yeah, total confusion. Anyway, <laughs> um, I will be tweeting about the videos, <laughs> both on my personal account and our and shared Twitter and our shared one, which I'm gonna have to get mm -hmm. the information for. It's basically um, the same info, but again, okay. that's an off video topic. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> which we are at the 20 minute and 15 second mark, so. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Give us any suggestions that you think might be interesting. And, and we'll see you guys later. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe. Subscribe and stay sexy. Stay sexy. Stay saucy. Stay bitchy. <laughs>